Well, hello everyone, and here I am with my with another Lego Movie 2 set review, well, of the Summer or Spring Wave, actually. And this one is on the Emmett's Triple Decker Couch Mech. So on the front of the short box here, you see a Lego logo, Lego Movie 2 logo, Emmett UC border, like some of the other sets did. Picture of the whole set there. And age recommendation 8 and up, set number... 70842 has 312 pieces and says it's a two in one set, which the second model, which I'm not going to be showing in this video because looks a little too similar to the double decker couch set from 2015, as well as 2014 in the uh, uh what's it, uh, Melbeard Sea Cow set. <laughs> and on the back, you see that again, Sweet Mayhem's face, and all the minifigs included with it. So for the booklets, came with two booklets. This first one that shows how I built the double deck, triple decker couch one, and on the back, I have for the other all the movies on Blu-ray and digital HD, and nothing to it. And as for the mech bill, on the back, how to win on the online survey, all the pieces that come with it. Uh, Add for Blu-ray and Digital HD ones again. Add for the other wave of sets as well. And add for Lego Life and the last building sets. And first of all, for the minifigure, there's there you get Emmett. And this version of which also seen in the uh or also seen in most of the all the other sets of this line. But the face print of which about the same as in the uh, uh, Emmett's Treehouse Rocket or Rescue Rocket set as well. So if you weren't able to afford that set, well, this here is a cheaper alternative first way to get them. And also, you get Sweet Mayhem. I think it was the name of that. There we go. Of which, same as it's been. Same as in most a couple of other sets, same three pieces, same pieces, and the gun also used in the Sistar ship set. And that face print of which also quite similar to you used in that set, but also a little different version in the introducing Queen Whatever S set. And also what you also get with this version is the like uh, rocket boosts that she can put on her feet, just like in the Sistar uh, uh, system set. And then what's exclusive to this set is Rampage Kitty. Well, this uh, kicked off version of Unikitty. If you're in good use of this uh, Street Sweeper piece for the tail, perfect for that. But no head movement to it, and doesn't easily fall off as the other ones. Simply because, well, it's kind of fixed in with the rounded plate pieces, to add, like the stud used for that, obviously. Kind of interesting how they make this one. Again. And now on to the triple decker couch mech itself. So with this, I would go with the legs of it. I'm built with a couple of rackety joints to it. Yeah. And interesting how the feet are made with those like bracketed pieces there. It moves around there. It's on a ball joint, but in the middle area. Kind of odd how that is, but whatever. And there's the upper area where it can sit a mini figure onto it or whatever. Well, actually not at all. Since there aren't any stunts to put a mini figure onto. But a little bit of asymmetric, but I can live with this asymmetricality one. Like this one arm of which has some sloping to it and also a turnable claw hand that is made with those three uh, Chima clock pieces, but now in light rouge gray. So, which, good for mock making. 
and on the other arm, a similar build, but with a couple of the technic gearings to act as saw blades. So from the back of it, to get a couple of the ladder pieces, also which you, you can use on the sides of the other build. Also with in good use of those like other arm pieces. And see, probably to give the impression of it being folded up, making it feel kind of like a transformer or whatever. And a lot of loose ended did uh, technique games, but even though they're more used for the other build. But as for the upper area, which a lot of these uh, blue tile pieces, just like the double decker couch set from a few years ago, used. Well, you do get a few jumpers on there, but also a couple of ones in the middle, enough to sit your Emmett minifig on too. And also, you do have these like you got the coffee mugs on the sides, right, for him to take hold of the mech to control it. And uh, what else is there to say? Well, also, do get some of those like dish pieces on the sides, of course, and also some good shaping for the legs and arms with those curved slopes, of course. And what else to say? Not much. But as for articulation, do get a fair good amount of it, like good shoulder movement, but also turnable elbow movement because does have those rounded uh, joints, as well as a good swivel at the wrists and all. And also, the legs kind of get hindered a bit for it being in this upper area, but at least it kind of works as well. Unless if you were going to keep it in the alternate build. And so now on to the final verdict. Of this set. So my overall verdict on this set is, well, I think it was a pretty good set for its price point of thirty. Like, get this version of Emmett and Sweet Mayhem, like, in a cheaper alternative set, and also you do get this exclusive variant of. Apocalypse Unicity, obviously. And if you like, if you want to get this to modify it as the double decker couch, if you missed out on that one, then definitely pick this up. And if you liked this part in the actual movie, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.